Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Today we're talking about the Blizzard Brahma 82. Um, this isn't as old now as the original Brahma, but the Brahma 82 has been around for a significant amount of time now. Um, and in my opinion has carved a nice little niche for itself and even gone as far as kind of inspiring some other skis from other manufacturers. Um, I'll just go ahead and say that us as a company, we've been kind of asking manufacturers for these narrow flat skis uh, rather than a system ski in a similar width. This gives you a lot more versatility as an all mountain ski while still being extremely strong. Um, so a lot going on inside this ski. It's pretty burly, pretty strong, um, definitely an advanced expert level ski. We get true blend wood core, we get two sheets of metal. Um, there's even actually kind of like two and a half sheets of metal because there's an extra one right underfoot. Um, we get carbon flip core, so they use some bi-directional carbon in this ski. Um, and then we also get a little bit of rubber too. So a lot going on. Um, really the gist of it is this is a extremely strong, very powerful ski. Um, and it is reflected in the weight. So we have the 180 centimeter length here, hits the scale just about 1900 grams. So maybe not the heaviest thing in the world, but certainly not like a lightweight, narrow, all mountain ski. Um, it is built to be strong and that is reflected in its flex pattern. Uh, there are stiffer skis out there, but this is certainly on the stiffer side of the spectrum. And then looking at its shape, we get a lot of camber underfoot, and then we get this kind of relatively long but low rise tip rocker profile. That increases its versatility. It also makes turn initiation just a little bit smoother, uh, with, which helps, you know, with the amount of metal and the stiffer flex pattern in this ski. Having that tip rocker does help pull you into a turn, so you're not you don't need to like fight the ski or decamber it fully. It's, it's kind of helping you in that process, um, but much less tail rocker back here. So more of a preference of finishing a turn with some power, making a nice, really clean carving turn. Um, that's, that's what the Brahma 82 does really, really well. So when we talk about application for this ski, who should pick it, all that kind of stuff, um, it's kind of blurring the lines between a frontside carving ski and an all mountain ski, which is really cool. It has the strength of most frontside carving skis, um, especially in terms of like longitudinal stiffness. You know, as you get narrower, just in kind of how ski engineering works and how physics works, a narrower ski is going to be more torsionally stiff if it's built the exact same way. So sure, if you line this up against like, say a Firebird WRC to kind of stick within the Blizzard collection, it's not gonna feel as strong or as torsionally strong as something like that, but certainly no slouch. And I would kind of, I, I would go as far as like, I'll, I'll challenge you to push it past its limits in terms of edge grip. So very, very strong. The metal makes it very damp. Um, great, great vibration damping. The rubber adds to that as well. So it's extremely smooth. One of those skis that just feels like it's staying glued to the snow surface. Um, but because you're mounting this flat, because we get a little bit of tip rocker, all those things add up. The 82 millimeter waist, it is a little bit more versatile than to stick with Blizzard, something like that Firebird WRC. So you should be the type of skier that demands a certain level of carving performance, a certain amount of edge to edge quickness, but you don't wanna be like pigeonholed to, to, for lack of a better term, to just skiing groomers. You know, you can take this off trail, you can ski some moguls on it, you could even like wiggle around through some trees. Um, I will say that, and I think this is perfectly fair to say, that if you're planning to do that, if you're going to ski this ski and you want to take it off piste, you do need pretty good technique. You know, there's not a lot of tail rocker back here, so it's not gonna be like swishy and smeary. Um, it requires some active unweighting of the tail to kind of get it to, 
to maneuver around where you want. Um, but just a phenomenal ski for, for linking clean round carving turns. That's easily my favorite thing to do on it. Um, I was really psyched when they came, in, came out with the Brahma 82 originally. It just felt like it was, you know, kind of filling a void, not just in Blizzard's collection, but kind of in the industry in general. You know, there was a big jump from those frontside carvers, those Firebird WRCs or Firebird HRCs of the world. The jump from that to like a Brahma 88 or a Kendo, that was a pretty significant jump, you know, big difference in waist width there. So this kind of does a great job of splitting the difference. Um, and I don't think that like the market or us as skiers have even fully grasped the benefit and the potential of these skis. It feels like, like sort of a long, long play where skiers are, uh, are slowly starting to realize how much fun these kind of strong, narrower, all mountain skis are um, and just how rewarding they are on, on a daily basis. So that's the Brahma 82 from Blizzard, as strong as ever, uh, back unchanged for 2023, just a, a refresh on the cosmetics. So let us know if you have any questions about it as usual, and we will see you out there on the slopes.